Hello friend, how is it going? Welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. After day in my shop, this wonderful 2003 Toyota Tacoma. She is the trim SR5 V6 four wheel drive. She has incredible 270,000 miles on the odometer and running strong. It's a new customer and a couple of months ago I did the detail inspection as an entry inspection of the whole truck. I brought the entire list and one of the maintenance was the timing belt and water pump. And as I started working on the timing belt and water pump job, I discovered something which is perfect for this video. So you can see right now the upper timing belt cover, that plastic cover removed. And the moment I pulled it off, I realized it was absolutely right time to deal with this. Here is the previous person who did the timing belt. So we have 2016. It's an eight years old job. It was in April too, now it's April. So we are eight years later, 172 and 270. It's approximately 98,000 miles. And we will study together, we will look at the condition of the timing belt. And the owner, she actually did incredibly smart decision to deal with it and invest in that maintenance service. Because when I pulled the cover and I saw the condition of timing belt I couldn't believe how bad it is just using my finger this way I can feel bumps from the, the rubber being rotten the rubber surface of the timing belt is basically rotten there are cracks I will use the zoom to show you in detail those cracks it's absolutely unbelievable incredible and great opportunity to explain and confirm that these jobs are not a scam from the mechanics and garages but they really needs to be done so it's extremely important that these jobs are done properly and they are done on the time so we see the timeline let's go and focus finally and show you in absolute clear detail how bad this timing belt is. I rotated it around. I cannot see the make because normally they look better, but this one is in really bad shape. Let's go and zoom on it. I will try to pick up the best spot you can see the detail. Look at those cracks. I'm shooting this handheld. Excuse the imperfections and shakes. The tripod will not reach here in this area. Look at that. I hope you can see it right now. I hope I'm holding it steady enough for you. They are like bumps and cracks. So I don't see it often, normally. In 100,000 miles and six year of age, the timing belt, it's pretty good shape, but this one, not so. It's very bad. I will be very, very concerned if I saw it on my vehicle. And obviously, if I bought this vehicle today, let's make a scenario. You bought a used Tacoma like this. And you have the 5EZ FE engine. And your sticker says it's approximately 8 years old. Or it has 100,000 miles on the odometer. You better be concerned about it too. Because look at it. This is bad. This could break any moment. Look at this. See that? This could really break any moment and then you will lose the cooling ability for the engine 
because the water pump is hidden down there. This is one of the items you can also clearly see and inspect if you remove this upper timing cover. We see there are absolutely no leaks or seepage around the water pump body. I can actually see it's aftermarket. It doesn't have a Toyota or ASIN logo written on it, especially normally it's in this area. So there was aftermarket kit. 5EZFE, which is behind us, is classified as a non-interference engine. That means if that belt breaks, there will be not catastrophic damage, meaning in the high RPM pistons going up and down will hit the valves, some of them which are open or closed, and there will be that catastrophic damage to the engine. In this case, you will just most likely, if the belt breaks, uh, you will lose the functionality and you will get stuck you will lose the cooling also but most likely it will end up only in the towing the vehicle however you definitely don't want to ever end up in this situation i hope everybody can understand that now what is the interval for these timing belt jobs so first of all, the timing belt job includes timing belt, both idlers, hydraulic tensioner, water pump with the gasket, thermostat and its gasket. You replace the coolant, super long life from Toyota, and the optional are the drive belts, three drive belts. The rule of thumb, is 80,000 miles and now the age is questionable. I always thought it should last 10 years but more and more I work on these vehicles I will say 10 years it's a stretch and I'm afraid that in certain areas it should be replaced as soon as five years. I saw belts which lasted 200,000 miles original from the Toyota installed by the dealer and the belt was 20 years old and looked way better than this one. This gives me idea this was an aftermarket part and not the Toyota. I think they use through the years Mitsubishi, it's not a Mitsubishi but Mitsubishi. Uh, timing belts super high end so uh, I saw ones which looked almost brand new after 20 years but that's exception then I see these ones most likely it was down on aftermarket there was not that OEM Toyota sticker which is being supplied by the belt so somebody just hand wrote it as you saw on that engine air filter housing in this case, it will be way safer. Still follow the 80,000 miles and maybe five or seven years of age. Of course, it extremely depends on what area you are operating. Do you have a large temperature swings between freezing and then super hot? Or are you living in just a mild weather? All of that matters how engine is running hot, how fast you drive it, how long it sits and so on. So rule of thumb, I will say if you want to be extra safe, 80,000 miles and five years, maybe if you are in normal climate, it's driven normally 80,000 miles and seven years. That's what I see. After so many years working on these babies, and trust me, I serviced many of these 5VZFEs. What I saw, I will go something like that. The inspection is a little bit difficult because the upper plastic timing belt cover doesn't have many bolts on it. It's not a problem. 
So this is, if you remove that top one, you can see the timing bell. The problem is there is that coolant hose coming, the upper radiator coolant hose, and that doesn't allow you to move it away from the engine without draining at least some of the coolant. So if you will go on the bottom of the radiator and drain some coolant, which will take about 15 minutes in the bucket, then you can remove the upper hose and this entire thing. You can inspect your timing belt. You can also see down there on water pump if there is no leakage any crystallization of super long life coolant you can see that so that can be inspected it just takes well what reasonably somewhere like hour to then you have to fill the coolant back and bleed the air out so i will say hour of the work even diy people can do that in their own driveway and you can really see you can spin the timing belt around using 19 millimeter socket on the main crank pulley bolt always rotate it clockwise never go backwards and you can see that entire timing belt coming up to you as we just saw it right now because all the other covers are still on the engine so if you don't trust numbers you can each five years remove this See with your own eyes and have a good sleep. Not being afraid that you will destroy your engine. I hope you find this video helpful, educational. If you do, if you like it, please always give it thumb up and stay tuned because I have way more coming your way soon. I got the wheels for a tundra. She's waiting outside. So that will be probably my next video. Thank you for watching and have a great day, my friend.